right guys so welcome to today's workout so today's workout is a little bit different so we have boxing today yeah one of my favorite uh, workouts so the basis of this workout is just to have that nice cardio conditioning and also to spice up a little bit from your uh, away from your normal workout routines so starting things off we started with uh the warm-up uh chest openers as you can see i did uh straight chest openers and then i did some variations up and down diagonal and then i moved on to the uh, shoulder stretch so shoulder stretch we hold that for like uh, maybe five ten seconds and then we repeat that one more time uh, when you're about to do boxing you have to make sure that at least your shoulder not at least but your shoulders and your entire body is fully warmed up so we're gonna go through an entire body warm-up uh, just so we are ready for what's coming so we have to let the body know that it's time and something is coming so i yeah, moved on to uh, shoulder rotation big big circles uh, from the back to the front and then if you have some time you can go ahead and do as well from the front to the back now I moved on into a uh, single uh, arm circles keeping my other arm straight forward so that it's engaged as well and then moving on to uh, front raises so the point here is to make sure that the entire shoulder region from the front to the rear to the medial delts is all warmed up and ready for action so right after that took a few seconds off and then we're going down now to the uh, lower body so what way to warm up the lower body uh, than doing a squat so i did 10 squats again uh, you can customize this you can uh, uh, have your own number you can have your own exercises depending on uh, your preferences and how long you want to do this for i like a good warm-up and i don't take so long to warm up because my climate here is so hot but if you are in a cold climate so probably maybe you need to do two or three sets of this uh, to make sure that you're really are ready for what's coming so moving on to hip openers so uh, driving that knee almost uh, midway uh, uh, the center and then opening up to the side and then dropping it down slow and controlled and if you have some time you can do the reverse motion so from the side uh, back to the front so shaking us shaking it off a little bit uh, moving on to uh, some mass shuffles so we uh, the most important thing here to not is you have to be on your toes then jumping uh, back and forth back and forth i really love this uh, warm-up exercise i use the same uh, when i'm about to play tennis and any kind of activity that i'm about to do that's uh, intense so moving on uh, stationary lunges so you want to step forward keeping that body straight uh, you're trailing knee almost touching the ground full range of motion you want to make sure that your muscles are really fired up for what's coming uh, short ranges of motion are not really ideal so try to go as slow as you can and also proper form you see my shoulders are rounded chest is up and don't forget to breathe as well so shaking it off now we're moving on to the dynamic exercises uh, in form of a warm-up so just the same way we did the lunge now we're going to do the dynamic warm-up with a jumping lunge now to engage more of the core and your upper torso uh, you can place your both palms right behind your head so you have that uh, more engagement of the core all right, so a few seconds rest and then we're moving on to squat jumps so i turn the other way so you can see how i'm lifting my feet off the ground and then extending brushing my elbows off my shoulders all the way to the back so that's also warming up the triceps and a little bit more of the shoulders and the lower back 
so taking a small rest in there moving on to uh, to the neck rotations so the neck rotations here it's not about the speed it's not about uh, uh, it's not about anything but you have to make sure that you doing it in a nice way uh, slow and controlled motion slow and controlled all the way left and right so clockwise uh, 10 repetitions and anti-clockwise 10 repetitions so uh, keep it slow and controlled mind muscle connection right here and make sure you're not injuring yourself uh, we are here to get stronger not to get injured all right moving on to side twists with your palms open so we're going to to assume a nice wide uh, half sumo squat the reason for that is to isolate the hips from the movement so we want to rotate around the waist all the way up it also so when again and then did side reaches so as you can see i'm reaching up and extending activating all the obliques and the serratus muscles all together and this is really important if you really keep your feet grounded to the ground without bouncing off uh, left and right so shaking it off uh, jog in place try to stabilize your breathing here catch up with your breathing uh, at about this time you're pretty much warmed up and ready for 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 the workout and your body must know by this time that uh, something is coming Right, so for some people that could be enough but if you really want to uh, if you want to go ahead and have an extra maybe an exercise to uh, to continue your warm-up then you could go for the straight leg kicks like I did uh, flapping your both palms facing down up and down and don't forget to stretch the wrists as well very important especially if you're going to punch the bag all right so looks like we are ready uh, to get started and now starting off with the basics uh the boxing stance so you want to have your uh, left foot forward and if your left foot is forward you're starting to punch with your right palm forward so that's a jab and step so we're gonna step jab step jab step and jab step jab and then step back so we're gonna do this this is partly to warm up uh, the shoulders and also the feet and also let, dusting off everything letting the body know that uh, uh, something is coming and that's the workout so switching sides the other side again it's a step jab step jab step jab step jab now as you punch you have to make sure that your hand your both uh, your elbow is fully extended in that punching position so by the time you punch your hand should be fully extended and try to keep it on the level now we're gonna reverse that a little bit and add one more punch one more punch so it's gonna be a jab and a cross and then we're stepping now from the back foot to the front and then back so step jab cross and step back step jab cross step back so we're gonna go for 10 reps everything is 10 reps here and uh, again you can uh, pick a number maybe you prefer to go for 20 or maybe five all you can do is all good uh, there's no standard measure for this so switching on to the other side again it's step forward jab cross and then back forward jab cross back step forward jump cross back all right now dust it off a little bit and moving on to the next combo now we're going to start a few more combos here and later on we shall start uh, adding in something uh, for some aerobic conditioning so right now we're moving on to a jab cross hook so jab cross hook jab cross hook jab cross hook jab cross hook all right again uh it doesn't really matter which hand hooks uh as long as you do the hook you may prefer to hook with 
your first hand uh, that did the job i find it easy for me to to jab with my cross hand that is the hind hand so again this is something that is entirely up to you to make your own uh to go with your own preferences and whatever is uh best for you again the purpose of this workout is not a fully a full boxing session it's just a conditioning workout so we're just transferring the knowledge from the boxing aspect into this again we're switching on to the other side and again it's a jab cross and then hook now very important you have to keep breathing you have to breathe on every punch that's how you get the strength and also try to drive from your heel and coiling and uncoiling uncoiling and coiling of your waist and that's how you throw a stronger punch so right now we're moving into the next variation which is going to be a cross a jab cross hook and uppercut and hook jab cross uppercut and hook jab cross uppercut and hook all right so keeping strong here strong core strong hands and if you're punching a bag try to hit it as hard as you can so again jab cross uppercut hook jab cross uppercut hook jab cross uppercut hook all right switch sides Six sides is jab cross uppercut hook jab cross jab jab cross hook uppercut uh, jab cross hook uppercut the moment you get into the rhythm you can go ahead and move as fast as you can you can determine your own pace uh, it doesn't you don't have to uh, to take my own pace uh, but you can always customize this workout uh, as you see it fit or as you may be comfortable or as you, as easy as you found it. So everything here is just a framework, but you can always um, do what's best for you. And then, you know, everything doesn't have to be the same like I do. Again, preferences. So moving out to that aerobic conditioning that I talked about earlier, now we're gonna add a half buppy and then a small combo which is the same like we did so we're gonna go for a half buppy jab cross hook and uppercut buppy jab cross hook and uppercut so buppy jab cross hook and uppercut keeping strong now notice that my boxing stance is changed i have my feet almost on the same level that is fine for just the training but in the real boxing training uh, everything is different you have to keep that boxing stance but here it's not so much that required i find it so easy and more comfortable stepping out of the bubby with my feet wide and then immediately moving on to my combo uh, which is uh, something you can try out as well and then see what works out for you so moving on to the next combo so it's gonna be uh kind of almost the same but again uh i don't have a script so whatever comes to my mind is what i go with so i'm moving on to a jab and cross and then shuffle so i'm shuffling uh, back and forth to my starting position and then one two one two one two so if your coordination is not really good here you may find yourself punching with the wrong hand you know like the hind hand punching first that's fine uh it takes some practice it takes some time so you can have that coordination in order especially for if you're right-handed it could you could find it a little bit challenging on your left hand and if you're left-handed it's a little bit more challenging on the right hand but with practice both hands can be both sides can be the same and that's something that's really good about boxing all right so again it's a jab cross and then shuffle 10 repetitions side by side and take a small rest you can have some water i prefer to go on and have that more aerobic conditioning so this time i went for jumping jacks again i'm spreading my feet out straight 
uh, on my toes left and right keep keep your breath up i i really like to work out when my heart rate is a little bit high probably maybe 60 to 80 percent of my uh, maximum heart rate and i don't have um a heart rate monitor i don't have my sports watch but i go with the feel so how i feel uh, during that uh, when i'm in that zone i can determine exactly that and i'm sure you can do the same as well so both palms touching at the top and both feet spread out wider than your shoulder or hips and when we're done with that so shake it up a little bit have a small break if you like have some water and then time for the next combo so it's gonna be a cross jump cross and then fast punches so fast punches go all out if you're punching a bag it's a different scenario if you're punching the air it's a different scenario if you're punching the bag you can punch faster if you're punching this air if you're shadow boxing it's a different story uh, the point there to note is just go all in as fast as you can land the punches keep proper form feet grounded to the ground and rotate from the hips by right, now the point here is to punch until you cannot punch anymore all right shaking it off uh, going on moving on to the next station another set of combos so you could uh, probably have a, a break water break right there and relax or just move on to the uh, to the next exercise like me so now again we are adding that element of agility and uh, aerobic conditioning so it's gonna be a squat jab cross hook and a snake punch so we're adding one more punch on top of the combo that we did last just to spice to spice things up so it's a squat jab cross hook uppercut and a snake punch jab cross hook uppercut and then a snake punch so five punches jab cross hook and uppercut last all right so jab cross hook snake punch and a squat good job so 10 repetitions keep your breathing up to speed and you can move as fast as you can you can go as slow as you like but try to make sure whatever number you grab in mind make that happen if it's 10 make it 10 if it's 20 make it 20. all right so moving on to the next combo so we're gonna go for fast uppercuts left and right and again the point here the idea is to punch until when you can punch no more so it's kind of like uh you're going all in and until when you cannot punch anymore that's the idea so that's aerobic conditioning as well as you can see i'm a little bit uh, almost done there all right so after that you probably maybe need to have uh, a small break so my suggestion is you try to keep the breaks at a minimal you want to have smaller breaks you want to keep your muscles warmed up all the time that increases your elasticity and also uh, if i'm in the zone i perform better so we're throwing hard punches to the left and right rotating through the hips targeting your obliques to the side your serratus muscles and also your calf muscles because you as you punch on the other side you're getting off the heels of the ground on the opposite side and throwing that hard punch to the left all right so make sure your hands are fully extended breathe on every punch if you're looking for an exercise to trim your love handles this is one of the exercises you should try out all right a little bit of more aerobic conditioning moving on to the jumping jacks jumping jacks one of my favorite and burpees if you have any other aerobic conditioning exercise that gets your heart rate up let's say mountain climbers let's say maybe high knees you can chip that in depending also on your capabilities if you have issues with your knees if you have issues with your back and you cannot do 
uh, one of these exercises you can substitute that with any other exercise that you prefer you don't have to do the same or right, again my magic number for the jumping jacks was 50 so usually what we used to do with our colleagues in boot camp is we would count the group leader would count one two three and then would count one one two three and then in two one two three and then three in that case we did more burpees than almost three times than the actual number that we used to to count okay, so moving on to the last uh to to that combo that we did earlier uh which is the half burpee jab cross hook uppercut and the snake punch and then with the last combo so jab cross hook uppercut and the snake punch down up jab cross hook snake uh, hook and then uppercut all right so the combos uh in the first instance if you're doing this for the first time of course uh, they could be a little bit confusing my advice is you go slow on the first five get the rhythm right and then you can go as fast as you can all in on the last five and you feel the last five is not really enough for you you can add another five and if another five is not good enough for you you can add another five so it all entirely depends on you all right so shaking that off and this time you should be feeling that heart rate you should be feeling the burn right now and you should be really in the zone and you should be feeling how hard you've worked all the way up to here so keep strong have a small break and then we're moving on next up so it's a squat and double punch squat double punch now you can move as fast as you can here because this is a small uh this is an easy combination so it's only squat and double punch so squat one two squat one two squat one two as fast as you can and two good job breathe on every punch two one two squat one two squat one two and relax i right, shake it off and instead of having a break uh, i prefer to keep myself warmed up like i said so doing lunges for me is better than just walking around or maybe just sitting down what you should avoid here is sitting down because when you sit down you cool down and you lose your elasticity you lose your intensity and all these so it's better to do some low intensity exercise just to keep that heart rate elevated until the end of the session towards the uh, cool down so a couple of more lunges i went for 20 lunges 10 each side and keeping my body straight shoulders rounded and breathing in check all right so everybody's favorite is up next uh the abs so we're going to do the abs in the boxing conditioning way so taking a few minutes down there to rest and you're going to crunch up 35 or 45 degrees and then you're going to punch cross left and right the point here is to hold your position in that v and then punching right and left helps you to twist same way you would do uh, the russian twist but we are doing it dynamically so working smart now here if you have a partner it would be a good idea for the partner to hold your feet on the ground if you don't have a partner it's fine it's even better now during these times like this you can't work out with anyone so this is where skills of working out alone and capabilities of working out alone come in handy so i'm okay actually if you don't have uh, any support under your feet you have more muscle recruitment and you have uh, a better workout so i prefer to i prefer to do it uh, without any assistance 
I could maybe use something to hold my feet down, but I, 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 don't, I didn't opt for that. And I, I, I would suggest you do the same. So now we're moving on to straight uh, sit-ups, crunches, keeping your hands right on the side of your head, not at the back, because at about this time, as you wear out, you may tend to apply pressure behind your neck, pulling yourself up. And we don't want to injure our neck we don't want to injure our spine so we're working out smart we're working out smart no injuries and going through the entire workout so that's a good job so that's the only break we had in between and we're going to move on to finish up the second set of the crunch and cross punches so in a, take a few minutes to rest and then off we go so crunch left and right crunch left right so you can come up as fast as you can but as you go down try to control that motion the eccentric part of the crunch because that is the mass builder for the abs the, that is the that is the best part of the sit up not as you come up but as you lower yourself down in a slow and controlled way, uh, engaging your core, engaging your abs, and also holding that V position as you punch left and right. Again, don't forget to breathe left and right. Breathe on every punch. And keep going, keep going. 20 repetitions, try not to stop in on the way. All right, so when it's done, you should be probably, your abs must be on fire. If they're not on fire, that means maybe you cheated somewhere along the way. Or maybe you bounced off a lot, but it's still fine. All right, so stay with me. We have a few more minutes to go and a few more combinations to go. So shake it off, have a water break. Again, try to keep the brakes at minimal, and we wanna keep the intensity a little bit high. All right, so I shake it off. Uh, maybe, I think I took like uh, 45 seconds here before I started moving on to, to the power punches. So it's gonna be left and right. Now, I'm concentrating more here on the form and you can see i'm punching out straight with my elbows fully extended you know um driving my punch especially my um uh, my cross punch right from my hind foot so the only way to make sure that you're doing that right is lifting your heel off the ground and transferring all that power that energy through the waist and uncoiling as you punch uh, your cross punch which is the left now switching on sides to the left all right so it's gonna be left jab and right cross left jab and right cross proper form keep breathing if you're punching a punching bag if your friend is holding the mints for you it's a different story so you want to punch as hard as you can not so hard to break your friend's hands or to break uh, the punching bag of the of the rock but just so hard enough to have a good workout all right so 10 repetitions on each side power punches left and right shake it off take a small break should be proud of yourself by now it's a grilling workout almost more than uh, 25 minutes gone and if you're still with me you are you are a genius you should be proud of yourself so we're going for again that last bit stretch the last stretch that's gonna be a jab and a cross plus shuffles so you're shuffling uh, back and forth your starting position and then punching now one thing to note here uh, is if you don't settle fast and punch you will lose your coordination so you wanna shuffle and settle fast before you punch i've seen a lot 
I've seen this a lot with my with my clients, with my guests, and uh, with my friends. If you try to punch uh, before you settle down, then you lose your coordination, and that's not good. So you may find yourself punching with your right hand, especially like in this case when you're supposed to punch with the left, which is okay, uh, but you want to have the coordination right, and then that's the only way you can enjoy the workout, knowing you did the workout right and in a proper way so shuffle one one two shuffle one one two good job proud of yourself right now and we're almost hitting that last stretch all right so now we're gonna go and move on after after this small break again you can have some water you can relax a little bit now we're gonna go freestyle so assuming you have uh, someone just up in front of you holding the mains or uh, maybe just punching the bag you're gonna do this combo in the right way and make sure you remember every pattern and the most important thing is to get the rhythm right and then you can move fast All right so you see jab cross hook and uppercut again we're focusing mainly on that nice hip rotation and also transferring that weight from your back heel all the way forward into your forward punch and uppercut so good job breathe on every punch again what you do on the right you have to do the same on to the left so again it's a jab cross hook and uppercut all right so 10 repetitions i moved on to the other side so you can see how i'm moving how my footwork is and how i'm moving my feet and my entire body so once you get the rhythm right then you can move as fast all right don't forget to breathe on every punch so jab hook jab cross hook and uppercut you can do this faster come on jab cross hook and uppercut uppercut comes last jab cross hook and uppercut so strong uppercuts strong hook if you're hooking make sure you can see your elbow right in front of you on the level of your shoulders and the uppercut make sure you uh, your fist is facing up to the roof to the ceiling or to the sky and it goes slightly above your shoulders all right so last stretch last stretch stay with me now we're going freestyle freestyle so we're gonna do some footwork or some dancing so here if you have a partner you can start spiring for maybe a few minutes dodge a few punches work on your defenses and then keep it going keep it going for as long as you can the most important thing here is uh, the footwork so if you have a lot of space if you have the punch hit it as hard as you can